Yeah, 28 and 7 in the previous game, 23 and 12 in this one. His name is Ja Moran. He's at John, the mic. Coach is telling us just kind of how encouraged he is by just kind of how the fight you guys have shown, especially the last two games. How do you feel, just kind of word, even though the loss is there, how do you feel about just being encouraged by the team, just fighting against obviously the NBA's best team by record? Oh, uh, you know, that's a positive for us, um, you know, not to. You know, no matter what's going on in the game, shots falling, shots not falling, uh, continue to play hard and not give up. Um, we just got to, you know, find ways to close out better. Sean Coleman. Job ja, between game three and game four, especially with the start tonight, it seems like if there was a better effort for the full 48, which has, of course, been y'all's plan all along. It just seems like every game there's a level of improvement that makes y'all more and more competitive. Hopefully it would all come together in game five for a full 48 to get the win. Um, yeah, you know, that's our goal. Um, obviously, you know, game two, game three, they got out on a hot start, uh, which put us, you know, in I think like a double-digit hole. Um, I mean, eventually, you know, we, we came back, you know, tied the game up. But uh, we felt like, you know, if we just, you know, start better and, um, you know, we know that, you know, they're going to run, just, you know, try to cut it short and uh, go on the run of our own, uh, you know, we'd be in, you know, a good position. Uh, like I said before, you know, we just got to, you know, figure out how to close out the game better. Josh Robbins. Job, given that Utah has at least four high-level three-point shooters on the floor at all times, how much margin of error does that leave your team uh, against a team like that? Um, it's tough. You know, we just got to try to keep the ball in front and, you know, uh, try not to be in, you know, rotation as much as possible. Uh, you know, with them being able to, you know, shoot the ball. Um, if we in, you know, in rotations, you know, they normally get good looks. So I'm um, just got to contain the ball, you know, uh, continue to just play hard, uh, keep pursuing, and uh, get stops, rebound, and, you know, get out and run. Uh, they are a great team, and, you know, they make you pay for, you know, mistakes. Drew? John, uh, the Grizzlies have already won two elimination games this year. Is there anything you'll lean on from those two looking ahead to game five? Uh, no. I mean, we've been playing the same way, you know, uh, all season. Just got to, you know, focus in on, you know, the next game, uh, play hard, uh, 48 minutes, and, you know, just try to play our basketball. Brandon Abraham. Yeah, I kind of piggybacking off of what Evan was saying about the uh, Taylor talking about how he's encouraged um, and not frustrated. How big is that for such a young team, you know, going through a stretch, losing three in a row in a playoff series to always have his positive mentality? I mean, we all stay positive, you know, no matter what's going on. Um, I mean, we just can't, you know, let uh, one game carry over to the next. Uh, we can't be, you know, frustrated and go into the next game frustrated. You know, we got to have all the confidence in the world. You know, be positive. Um, I mean, we work to get here. So, um, just got to, like I said, just go out and, you know, play our basketball, play hard, and just, you know, um, play full 48. Last question, Adam Tyke. Yeah, it, it seems like late game execution has been a bit of a theme over the last couple of games. We were just Is missing shots. Honestly, it's the shots we've been shooting. All season, same plays we've been running, you know, early in the game, just missed shots late. So, um, she's going to continue to get better, uh, keep shooting with confidence, and, you know, try to close out the game. Thanks.